Hey, what's up guys? It's Earn the Worm here again. And today I just wanted to show off something that I made myself and this is actually my first diorama that I've ever made. Now the other one you see a lot of is that street scene that I do all my reviews on. I actually had that one made for me and that's why it's absolutely spectacular, the detail and things in it. I absolutely love that one. But at the moment, I didn't have the funds to buy another one. And I wanted something that I could do like indoor pictures in. So I actually made this one myself and we'll get some close-ups on it now. So this diorama is made out of foam board. You can pick it up at Lowe's. It's made for insulation, but it really sculpts good. And then the paint goes on it really good. I used acrylic paint. I did that floor brown and then dry brushed a darker brown over it to try to give it some wood tone. I think it came out really good. I like the uh, board look that came out. Looks like a nice hardwood floor. And then the back, I just wanted it to look like cinder block, like a white painted cinder block. Pretty universal for maybe an apartment, a garage, a school. So the white cinder block just had a nice universal look to it. And some places where I made mistakes, I even made like a damaged spot. I think it came out looking pretty good, pretty cool. Uh, there's another damaged spot I did there. Even in like the lines where the paint cracks and things, I think that gives it even a more realistic look. Even though that is like imperfections in the painting and things, I think it just adds to the character of the diorama. It makes it look more realistic. Now, I do plan on adding some more things to it. Like I have some Build-A-Straw sets. I'm going to actually work up, looks like maybe water pipe or something in that corner with the Build-A-Straw sets. And I'll maybe do an update on it when I do that. And I did cut that window out and actually behind it is last month's Loot Crate box. It was like an old building looking thing. So it looks pretty nice outside the window. I may actually like maybe hang some curtains or something up there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the diorama came out from my very first one. And it's absolutely gigantic. It's pretty huge of a diorama. I actually had to make these corner pieces just so it would hold up and stay up. I got one for the top and another down at the bottom here. And that is just to keep the diorama together. But now I'll set a few things on it and show you how it looks. So there's Deadpool, kick back on the couch, about to watch some TV, count up some money. And this is just one of the small setups of something that I would take a picture of. I actually made that stand the TV's on. I made that coffee table there. And I also made that rug. But this video is actually a two-parter. Uh, after I made this one, I had a lot of foam board left, so I actually made a little something for my Dragon Ball Z shelf, which I'll show you now. So there's the little setup I made for my Dragon Ball Z shelf, and I'll pull some of these figures out so we can have a closer look at it. Okay, there it is with only the statues and the Dragon Ball in it. And I did sculpt and paint these little stages here, just supposed to look like little rock stages, I guess. And this side, they're more rectangular this side's more circular okay and there it is with everything out of it and i actually kind of think the back wall kind of looks like crap because of the paint job i did on it i'm glad i like the way the bottom came out a lot better i mean this is the first thing like this i've ever made dirt or rock or anything only the second kind of die i've worked on and again i prefer buying but you know i was left with no option but these are separate little round pieces. I sculpted all those lines and then painted them. Again, this is a larger separate piece. And I just kind of stack those and put a character on them. Same with the other side. These are just two separate little sculpted foam board pieces. Yeah, I went way too gray heavy on that back wall. But without this light shining in here, you can't really even see that back wall. You can tell it's back there, but that's about it. You can't tell the horrendous paint job I did on it from just looking in on it with all the figures in there. The bottom, though, I, I think it came out all right. I, I like the way the paint came out on it pretty good. Okay, and there's another shot with just the statues and the Dragon Ball back in there. 
and again with everyone back in there so with everyone in there and without this light shining on it you can basically just see the little rock stages and the front of the foam board diorama i made so yeah i'm pretty happy with it but that's all i have for this video i just wanted to show you guys the dioramas i had made real quick hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good one guys i'll see you next time bye for now